Bada bing bada boom. What is up people of YouTube? Today I, Casey of Noob Buster TV, will show you how to design cool 3D text in Cinema 4D, obviously. So, first thing I want to do, open Cinema 4D, and then go to MoGraph, no text. For various purposes, I'm going to set it to middle, down here, and I want to face it, so let's just change Peter's lagging a bit. Let me just change my mouse pad. I don't have a mouse pad, I use a stupid magazine. So now we have this and on the object you can change the text. So let's just go with tutorial. I want it to look cool, so I'm gonna put in caps. Tutorial. Tutorial. If I spelled it wrong, I don't care. And you can also change the font. So, go to font. This might take a while because Peter's a bit laggy today. Then, I'm gonna use this cool graffiti font everyone seems to be using. Raise one. Okay. And change it to this cool like block font. Not block font. Um like so it's a bit big for the thing, so I'm gonna scale it down a bit just a second here. It's just Okay, I like it like that. Alright. Now the depth is how how high or not high how much you want it to extend back like that see so if you want it to be very deep just increase it if you want it to be not very deep just go so one thing you can do is if you don't like the arrangement of it you can highlight it first of all we want it highlight it and then click these two balls here make whatever jokes you want about that last statement later then we can take that and now we can edit it so we can edit the position of each individual letter or so I want let's move go to our move tool. I want the U to be a bit low like that I want the T like that the D let's make it stick up on the T a bit more. The R let's bring it here. I like where the I is A and I want the Z above the A the the Z the that's an S, isn't it? What's that? That's an L. Looks like a Z. Yeah. On the Z above the, the L. Stupid. Above the A. So I'll bring it like that. And uh, let's. Whoa. Don't know what happened there. Alright. Now we have that. Now, the second thing. Now. One. Now, another cool trick you can do is you can make the background one color and you can make the top another one so let's go to our motex and then we control C to copy it then we go down here to tutorial shift click from the T all the way down to the last letter and then go to caps change the start caps to fillet caps and the end caps to fillet caps as well so now you have that and then everything here will have like this cool emboss. See? Kinda like that. So everything now has this cool kinda emboss effect. And you can edit the radius or how deep the emboss will be or how big it will be. Like that. So let's put it up to five. Okay, that's nice. Now what you wanna do is I hope you copied the first layer. I hope you copied this before you put the fillet caps with the normal caps. Then what you do is control V and it will whoops. Delete that. And it will paste one of the normal caps. Now what you want to do is okay. So let's say I want my background blue. The back not background, um the behind. So I'll go make a new material by double clicking there or go File, New Material, 
Then I'll go here and I'll select my color. So I want it blue. Go up to blue. It'll be blue. And excuse me, my nose itches. And then I'll drag it onto that. Or I can bring it on the side here. So usually you'll probably want to bring it on the side here because it'll just do all one time at the same time. So now you have this. And let's say I want the top black. The in front. The one in front. Yeah. Whatever. So go make it black. And then drag it on the top one. Now this is the important part. Have the top one selected. Go here and nope. It was a fail. Have the blue arrow selected, the Z axis, and then bring it forward. And you'll see now you have this. So now you have like this cool 3D text, blue in the background, and black in the front. So you'll probably want to put this on a YouTube channel or a picture or something like that. So we'll go to render settings, go to save. Um, so then go to file and give it a name. So I'm going to name mine Tutorials. Save. Then go to format and press PNG. And this is the important part. If you want to save it with no background, right, or not right click, click on alpha channel. And that will save only the image and no background and then now you can just close out of that then go to render and it's going to render out and you'll see you have this so just go to file save as you'll see png is there alpha channel is there okay tutorials yes i would and now you should have it with only the background so you can open up photoshop file just make it, you know you can open up Photoshop, go down to where you saved it to, I saved mine to the desktop. There we have it. Let's let it load, computer's being a bit skittish. And now you'll notice that you only have the text, no background. So if you wanted to put something else in the background, let's say add a new layer and just want to add a black you want to add a black background go to there and right click it and you'll notice that only the text remains from the first layer and you can move everything else so thank you for watching this has been a tutorial from New Buster TV please comment rate and subscribe it helps me a lot and bye bye